Hello. There are many examples online that show how to create a ROS2 launch file using Python. However, for basic tasks such as just spanning a robot into Gazebo and starting Aris, there are not many launch file examples using XML. So in this video, I want to show how to create such a launch file using XML and will also compare it with the same functionality written in Python. So let's start. Hello, I'm Roberto from The Construct. I'm using this online platform from The Construct. Um, if you want to follow along with this video, go to um, theconstructsim.com and create an account or log into your account. In the video description, you will also find a link to this uh, Rostject that I will be that I'm running at the moment, so you can have a copy of these files and reproduce these examples on your own account. So, as I said, I want to show you a ROS2 launch file, um, a basic ROS2 launch file that just spawns a robot uh, in Gazebo and um, also uh, starts Arvis. I also will move the robot around using t uh, keyboard teleop. So let me start by um, compiling the ROS2 workspace and sourcing it. And now I will execute the launch file, um, the Python launch file. So as you can see, uh, it's uh, ending in .launch.py. So we will see um, in a moment what's inside this launch file. Let me just start it here. I will also need the um, joint state publisher node running just for visualization in Arvis. So this launch file also started Arvis, which is showing here. And um, right. Oh, I haven't uh, run here the joint state publisher. Okay, so now the um, robot is showing properly in in Arvis. And let me see if I can move the robot around using the um, Teleop Twist keyboard package. We will basically use the keyboard to move the robot. Um, let's place the simulator here and see if I can move the robot around. Wait, there it is. Stop it. So I'm using my keys on the keyboard to move the robot. So that's the basic. If you want to start learning ROS, you have to know how to start a simulation, how to um, run this uh, program for visualization. This is called Arvis and um, spawn a robot model into Gazebo. And um, yes, Python launch files are or can be a bit um, complex, especially for beginners. So I will show you the launch file that I just executed. It's here in this package, um, minimal diff drive robot in the directory launch. So this is the launch file. Just make this bigger. Basically we have a, a few imports here on the top. So I will not go into the details, just show you an overview. So we're running the ro robot state publisher node we're running here this spawn entity script for spawning the robot into simulation. And we're starting Arvis. And um, just that you have a notion how this is in Python, how, how this looks like, how this would look like. So um, now I will show you the same file in XML. Basically, um, this, th this is the file. 
So in X XML, you know, you have uh, this called XML tags, um, which are similar to H HTML syntax. And basically what I'm doing here is um, launching a SEO here. Um, then I'm spawning this robot. Uh, I'm starting this spawn entity dot py script same as in the python launch file but now here written in xml and i am starting the robot state publisher and uh, this group here is for starting our risk so as you can see it's it's a shorter file and i i think it's easier to read um just to compare this is, this is the fi uh, launch file written in in Python. So let me compare. Um, I mean, let me just uh, run this launch file uh, written in XML, which is this one here. As you can see, uh, the extension is .xml. Let me run it. Great. So we have Arvis. We have Gazebo. We still need to start the um, joint state publisher just for visualizing the robot model here in Arvis, the wheels. And right, let me run the teleoptus keyboard node again. And um, yes, put um, show Gazebo here on the left and see if I can move the robot around using the keyboard. Yes, that's possible. So I'm turning the robot, moving forward. So as you can see, exactly the same functionality in Python and using ROS2 XML launch files here so yeah if you copy this um, project you will have this package inside and you will be able to yes to copy this launch file in XML and to tweak it modify it for your own robot if you want so that's what I wanted to show you in this video let me just now close everything here close here the camera and let me show you the courses that we have. So basically, so if you're starting to learn ROS, of course you need to know at least uh, uh, one programming language, which is um, either Python or C++, so you can learn this in our academy for free. Um, it's good to have some basic uh, Linux uh, knowledge, which is also here for free. And then you can start um, learning either ROS2 or ROS1. And you can start with one of these ROS2 basic course or ROS1 basic course. And um, here's our ROS1 basic course in Python and um, optionally in C++. And there are many other courses. For instance, you could uh, learn um, ROS2 navigation for autonomous navigation or manipulation if you want to work with um, robot arms. Yeah, so that's all for this video today. So thanks for watching. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Goodbye.